Hey everybody, Charlie Nair 2 here and welcome back to Viewfinder. When we last left off, we found this. This is not designed. This is something that has created itself within this virtual world. It does appear to be math-based. Fractals almost, so maybe it's some type of procedural generation based off of some errant code, or maybe it's something even more than that, considering that these looks like succulents with flowers coming out of them. Uh, we need two batteries here. We can duplicate this battery with the camera. But before we do that, let's look around. Nobody's calling on the phone anymore, are they? We were talking to a handler there for a while. So let's picture the battery. Forgot we had night vision. Um, let's place the battery. Does it work when it's purple? It appears to. Wait, what? Why did that not take a picture of the battery? I, whoa. <laughs> We're not able to cut into here either. Uh, things have gotten weird. And if we take a picture here. Ah. Ah. Can we do this, though? We can, but where's the battery? Did we delete it by placing that there? We probably did. So let's go back. Okay, so let's place this one like that. Um... Not quite, huh? Let's place it like that. Okay. Can we make the jump? I don't know. <laughs> nope. Let's try it again. Nope. Let's try one more time. See if we can get this right. Still too high, huh? Let's do it like this. This should do it much easier. Okay. Hmm. So that doesn't be respond to the camera in a way that you would think. And purple batteries, for some reason, you can't How duplicate. Can, you would have been impressed. can I take a picture of you? No. Ooh, now we've got more of this growth. Oppressive even, huh? This is incredible. The system is self-learning, ever-growing. It can be used to build structures, new buildings, supported on its own energy. This could truly help push the principles of my research to new heights. I need to show this to Araya immediately. What a fond memory. Mirren was so excited about her work. Ambition is an infectious thing. Hmm, I like how you said infection when we're talking about this. We're reach that teleporter. There? Well, we'll figure it out. I didn't beat the infection, I transformed it, making the violet work for me in ways that will change everything. I've spent days playing with it like I did the first block set Mom gave me as a child. The kinematics of what I created are mind-blowing. I've always told myself that people only flock to you once your work truly pushes the boundaries of what they think is possible. With the violet... We can do that and more. We can show them how to build new realities with a substance that breathes like a living organism. Replicates with all the elegant momentum of a machine, but doesn't destroy unless we want it to. Hmm. I have to do big things with a violent. Violet, not violent. It's too monumental of a discovery not to put it to good use. Okay, I uh, see. This is what destroyed everybody because you cannot tame this. 
This is far beyond your control. Violet air filtration architecture. It's one XP cartridge. Incredible how it breathes. Unsettling how it breathes, I'll give you that. Oh, even what we're walking on. Oh, okay, I see. Changes based on where we're at. I don't like it. Well, we can pick up a cube, not a Rubik's cube, just a cube. The cat would have wanted that. What do we want to do with the cube? I think we can use it to reach up here, maybe? Got a photo. Do we still have the camera? We do, but it doesn't have anything. Photo is just clouds. Can it work with this? Yes. We got film. All right, so with the film, how do we get there? Hmm. That's a good question. Now, we can just take a picture of this. And then just do that. Ah, there it is. Another brilliant workaround. Good enough. I keep forgetting that I can't cut into the... Where's that ribbon Violet. coming from? He made it! I'm so happy. Nice work. You're near the end of this wild maze. At least, as far as I can tell. The weather disruptor must be around here somewhere. It's Marin's life work, right? She must have stashed it away. Find it, and let's get you out of there. As far as I can tell, we're four-fifths of the way through. Marin's life's work. I see. Mirren and the others developed a lot of potential solutions for your current climate worries. I'm sure one will be useful. Yes, I'm sure. Yeah, it's not foreboding at all. So now we're in those structures that we were seeing. Appreciate the view. You made this. You can master anything. It's just it's creepy. It doesn't seem like something you'd want to see all the time. I don't like the holes. It's like very, very close to like trypophobia going on there. Kind of makes me a bit itchy and goosebumpy. Some people say chicken skin. How high can we reach? Not even the sky can limit us. But you're in a world of your creation. You can go wherever. All right, so we want to go. Hmm, we don't have film. Alright, where did we start? We answered the phone. We'll fall here, right? Okay, just making sure. Um, what are we looking for? Phone was here. We answered it. This is new. Okay. I'm sure you noticed by now, but using film was always Mirren's idea. One of her many passions. But why, though? I don't see how making weird perspective puzzles in a VR world has anything to do with solving climate change. Maybe it's... Maybe it's the old... Uh, maybe that's the moral, right? Maybe you don't need to fix it. Maybe you need to change your perspective. Is that what we're getting at? If we do this, yep. And then that gives us a set of a couple bridges. Now she did say enjoy the view. So I'm assuming R, we can just do that here. Like this. Ah, a perfect fit. Is it? An elegant solution. But that's what this is, right? This whole 
thing is to tell us, hey, change your approach, change your mindset, not fix the problem. We just need to get there, right? And in order to do that, we should take a picture of the bigger bridge. This one. This could be the wrong answer. It could be just as simple as taking a picture of the teleporter. But I think this can work too, right? If we do something like that. Yes. Looking around me now almost feels like seeing into the future. How exciting to think that one day our cities could look like this, could breathe like this. It's never too early to change the world. But I still don't understand how making this discovery in a VR world makes you feel like it's going to work in the real world. Unless you program this world exactly like the real world, which you even stated yourself, it's easy to miss a calculation or two. You remind me a lot of Mirren, you know? Always taking new information, mastering it quickly. Ingenuity. From what I've gathered, having a passion to strive forward is the first step to accomplishing many things. She did make an AI cat. Mirren always loved her research corners. Your discoveries will be published in a revised edition someday. But why? Like, I get having goals. But goals like this always seem to me to be missing the point of goals, to be honest. Because will be published in a revised edition makes it seem like she only values herself as much as other people value her rather than her just valuing her own accomplishments for their own merits. It's like she has to be uh, acknowledged by others and given accolades by others or else whatever she does doesn't matter. She's only doing it for basically attention, if you boil it down to it. And it's kind of sad, especially with given how intelligent this lady is, is you know, portrayed to be here. Useless junk for Ah Luang to play with. But it's usually the brightest of us all that are the most lonely, right? Alright, so we have a cage. We gotta get these batteries in this cage somehow. How would one do that? Unless we took a picture of the whole thing. Nothing, because they're purple. I see. All right, well, let's <laughs> let's not do that. So how do we get batteries into here? Hmm, good question. Object, violet rise. All this work. I see now that it's only part of the solution. What we need is a grounded catalyst that can place full control over the atmosphere directly into our hands. A machine to offset the RISE project's nitrogen emissions. The missing piece of the puzzle that will bolster the architecture's weaknesses. Kate, can you archive this batch of results? I've a brilliant idea that I need to diagram. Oh. Did she cause the current situation that the planet's in? Because didn't she just say that they need to design the weather machine to offset the emissions by these? They give off nitrogen, I believe she said. So maybe this got out. And that's what made our sky red. I don't know. It could have been that there wasn't a crisis to begin with. And it's more of like a self-fulfilling prophecy. She wanted to get ahead of any type of crisis by basically making a self-contained think tank uh, that's not bound by like rules, laws, and regulations and uh, yeah, created this and was so hell-bent on being noticed and making a change to the world that maybe she inadvertently ruined the world, the real world with her discovery here of this purple mess I don't know 
I like that theory. I would think the story would be much more interesting if it went some type of way like that. All right, what do we need to do now? Well, we need to get into here. How do we do this? Can't take a picture of this. I haven't even seen a battery. Hmm. Is there more places to go? Find a battery. Or there's just simply a place to go that I've missed. There's cups of coffee everywhere. I'm assuming coffee. I mean, it may be tea given the accents. Huh. Ooh, I may have found one that's genuinely challenging. Or it may just be silly. All right, let's uh, let's try this. What happens? And we know it doesn't take a picture of any of that. So if we place that, all it gives us is a backdrop. We can't take a picture of any ground. Hmm. We can change gravity though, right? Kind of. If we do this and we place it like this, no, because we can't replace the ground. Um, so what can we do? What can we take pictures of? And how do those pictures help us? All of this is purple, this whole area. I mean, this is just sky. Which does nothing. Hmm. Hmm. Can't take a picture of that, can we? Curious, is there a hint here? Will be published. Yes, got it. There's a flower out there. Let's take a look at that. Even the flower is not real because it's all purple. I am missing something. Oh. That's what I'm missing. So now, can we angle it right? There we go. We need two of them. Okay. Way easier than expected. Whoops. Why did... Oh. Oh, I get it. So, what we need to do, right? See, so two. We need to have two in the same picture, or we need to take a picture really high. So, let's try doing that. Let's try taking a picture really high up. So, that's low in the frame. All right, so now let's take this one, place it there. And then we'll do this one like that. Okay. My trouble in that one was just finding the battery. Mugs. Like the pink though. Definitely a cool aesthetic here. 
one battery and a cat. Should be planets around here to find too. Rise high. Hmm, I really like the idea of high buildings for my space. Makes me feel great when I set out, gaze into the distance. More space for my thoughts. Raindrop. She start to lose her mind. Building block set for Mirin. Should make for better modeling tools than your photo developing chemicals. Glasses, what is this? Okay, I do have a first build. I can't say that I'm happy with how it's turned out, but it is a start. That counts for something. Okay, I'll run the test just to have the data. After that's done, we'll leave this workspace behind and begin again. Hmm. I'm assuming she's talking about that first, uh, that last level that we were in being the first build, maybe? Or maybe we haven't seen what she's referring to as the first build. Okay, so we can get rid of the floor. Though I don't know how that helps us. So cool how it just cuts in like that. Alright, so how do we get the battery over here? Do we have the camera still? I think we do. If that's the case, we just need to do something like this. And then place it underneath. How far do we go? Yeah, that should be good. And then do this. I feel like with a game like this, there's almost... I was wondering how you would tackle this solution. There's almost too many options for solutions. Because it's so open, I guess is the best way to say it. Like finally with this this purple we're starting to restrict what you can do. But even then there's still like as long as it makes some sort of sense and follows along with the rules established, you can do it. Okay, so now we just need to get, we have one picture. Can't we just do something like, oh, there's the lever. Hmm. How can we then? We would need to get all that in one photo, I think. Unless, so as I was saying, there's a ton of solutions. This one looks to only have a few, maybe. Um, all right, just to see what happens. Let's do that. And yes, it will not cut into the grate. Can we go around? I mean, kind of, but not really. Can we do something like this? No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We established that you can't cut that to begin with. So. How does one do this one? How do we manipulate that lever? How do we get out of this cage? Despite all of my rage. Hmm. Just looking. 
We could take pictures of this. Which don't really help. Right? So we would need to get the whole thing. Needs power. What if we do something like... I mean, it still doesn't work, right? Huh. Trapped in here. What do we do? Is there a way to get up there and over? Whoop. Close. No cigar. Don't think that's it. What oh, plants in my way? What if we do longer? Wait, we can take pictures through the wall, right? Like that? Yes, that's what we're meant to do. We're meant to do this. Yep, yep, yep. It doesn't show up in the film, so therefore it doesn't exist in the film I've world. I've been pondering about your search. I'm wondering, this weather disruptor? I know of it. If I'm right, then you're not too far away. Hmm. Tell me, is this your solution to heal the world? Couldn't wait. Why would you be hiding it from me, cat? Ooh. Look, chill little area right here. Solving Mirren's puzzle. Four-sided cage. No way through top or bottom. Become a pencil. She lung a solution. How does a pencil lift a battery? Critical flaw in an otherwise genius plan. Turn the battery into a pencil too. The brilliant Chi Lung strikes again. I think we're in danger of losing the plot here. Thank you, Hiraya. Chi Leung continues to insist that his pencil idea has merit. Suggestion. Use the camera. Chi Leung on using the camera. No. Chi Leung and Hiraya continue to refuse hints from Mirren. Gonna be here a while. Hmm. I'm assuming this refers to this. Battery is in the cage. We can take a picture of the floor. But that helps us, like, none. Hmm. Okay. Let's continue looking. What does it say? Might I whisper my answer instead? So they're playing a game here. Solution submissions evaluated, evaluated by the genius designer herself. Hiraya, not much of a guess. Imagination is a must for everything we make here. Close, but no cigar. Ah, Leung. Find quote points awarded to cheeky Aaron getting closer all out if anyone can impress me with design talk it's him hmm could it be that this cage isn't what it seems I think maybe getting around to the back side of it may be the answer but we shall see or maybe we have to become a pencil safe to say the party was a success Alabang was right, as much as I hate to acknowledge his genius. I enjoyed myself, but there's still work to do. Kate, can you compile the solution submissions? I want to have a laugh going over them again later. Collaboration always sparks innovation. You're collaborating too, with someone. 
The phone calls? They're, they're lovely. I hope the two of you find your own sparks of innovation together, too. You getting really creepy there, Cap. Anyway, that's going to do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy my content, please consider a like, a comment, and a subscribe. Stay tuned for the next episode. We'll see you then. Bye-bye.